Hello friends, so today I will show you how to use Excel to calculate the statistic, a confidence interval and p-value for a one sample t-test. Okay, so let's see uh, how the Minitab computes this test result first. So we copy this one and copy this, copy this one, okay, and we put this into the mini tab worksheet okay and we compute at uh, we conduct a uh, on sample t test okay so for example our hypothesis uh, mean is 10 and we choose the uh, we choose the one tail one tail test here the for example the lab tail okay okay and we just click okay okay and here the input uh, here the output from the from the mini tab okay so uh, we uh, we uh, we use Excel uh, to calculate this number okay so let let let's see Okay, so first, uh, okay, so first we need to calcul calculate the test statistic, T, test statistic T, this one, the formula is, this one is T is equal to hash bar minus V0 and divide to S standard deviation and okay so the x bar is the x bar is the sample mean uh, um, v, um, v0 is the hypothesis, uh, hypothesis mean as the standard uh, the sample standard deviation and n is sample size okay so we have the we have a uh, first we need to find the mean okay the sample mean so we have a h bar this e. okay have b b zero is 10 is our, our hypothesis mean is 10 we have a standard deviation Sample standard deviation. Sample standard deviation. Okay, and we have a sample size. Sample size is 100. Here, we have a 100 data point. Hundred data point. Okay. 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 So we have t is equal to h bar minus b zero divide to standard deviation and divide to the square root of the sample size. Okay. So here's our t. Okay, so now we need to calculate the p value. For example, we calculate the p value for one, uh, one sample t, uh, for the one tail test. Here we calculate for the left tail. Okay, so we have t for left tail. For left tail is equal to t is this one okay so have this one and the degree of freedom is and minus one and okay so the okay so the p 
p value p p value for the left for the left tail okay for the left tail so how about the p value for the right tail so p value for the right tail have here this one we use this, this formula and the degree of freedom is Okay. Oh. P value for the right tail. Oh, sorry. Is this P value for the right tail is here. So you see this the total is one. Okay. Okay, and then the p value for two tailed p value for the two tail for the right. Okay, so we have P to tail. Okay, okay. So how about how about the confidence interval? So we have a confidence. Interval interval is is equal uh, interval is the formula is formula of this one is x bar plus minus minus plus plus minus plus t on far Okay, so I I will insert the okay I will insert the formula here. Okay, so um, I swear on four. Okay, so the confidence interval is shield confidence is equal to h bar plus minus plus minus t t of n power two and then Okay. Okay. So, how to calculate the p on far two? So, we have the, uh, for example, we have the on far. On far is. Zero point zero five. Okay. So we have the uh, p on far. For two is equal to G equal to so we have G and five G to one the e equal to G in distribution. Okay, so let's talk about the T on part two. It this is the inverse cumulative probability of a t distribution with n uh, n minus one degree of freedom okay so we have the unfound to mean zero point zero five 
value by 0 25 and degree of freedom is 99 okay so we have this one so we have the confident interval interval low okay this equal to this as bar Okay, and we have uh, ish Okay, so we have here we have the okay, so our confident interval is is from nine point nine four six three and to ten point zero two four five. Okay, so here the what we have uh calculated from the uh, by using the Excel. Okay, so let's see how the mini tab compute this value or uh, this data. Okay, so here the Okay, so here the left tail, left tail test. Okay, you, you can see here we have N100 data points, mean 9.9854, standard deviation, standard deviation 0 0.1. 970 okay and we have the night confident interval is from what is something else let's see oh, okay so let's recalculate it on the yeah, option okay so up above so here these are two tail two tail test okay so let's see okay so for the two tail test you can see here okay and for the right left tail and right tail Okay, so we have here. Okay. okay, so you can see here, right? Okay, so for the okay, you can compare the result here for the confidence interval is matching here, here right? Okay, for the p value, to uh, for the p value to tail here, for the test statistic, test statistic here, test statistic here. Okay, test statistic is same, right? For the left tail, so the p-value is 0 0.230. Left tail, 
Okay, so that's all. So thank you for listening.